Good morning, guys, and welcome back to uh, this part of the course, which is about linear optimization. So, guys, if you remember, in the previous videos, we have solved this problem, where I have a company called CompuQuick, and this company wanna put wanna produce two types of computers. The first one is the standard unit, the standard computer, and the second one is the turbo computer, and then. We need to maximize its profit, knowing then, knowing that $100 is the profit of a standard computer for one unit, and $150 is the profit of the turbo unit of computers. And we said at the time that, as a first impression, I should say that this company should only produce the turbo computers because it has the highest profit. However, we so that there is some constraints about the limitation in the capacity and that the $150 profit of the turbo computer necessitates more resources than the $100 profit of the standard unit. And that's why because of this capacity, this limited capacity in the uh, labor time hours, uh, we uh, need, and also in the capacity of the computers itself, and the number of computers itself, we need to solve this uh, linear optimization problems. The first step was to uh, to do the mathematical algorithm, and this is first by indicating the decision variables that are x1 and x2, x1 being the number of standard computer, x2 being the number of turbo computer, and then in the second uh, step, it is to indicate the objective function, whether it is maximum or minimum, and this is basically related to the profit. If it is a cost, it should be minimum, so now the maximum I need to maximize this objective function, which is equal to 100x1 plus 150x2. And then we have some constraints because, in fact, in the problem itself, they said that the standard computer production line can produce at most 100 computers per day. So that's why x1 must be less than or equal to 100, and x2 must be less than or equal to 120 because of this sentence here. At the same time, the turbo computer production line can turn out only 120 computers per day. And then we have another sentence that also indicates some constraints, and this is because standard computers require one hour of labor, while turbo computers require two hours of labor. It's turbo. And then I know that the, the maximum number of hours in one, is 160 hours per day, so that's why I need another third constraint to be satisfied, which is x1 plus 2x2 is less than 160. The fourth step, or the last step, is to solve this mathematical algorithm using Excel or Ringo. We did solve this, ma this mathematical algorithm using Excel, and as you can see, after going to Data Solver, indicating all uh, the constraints here, and the objective function here to be maximized, as well as the quantity that are the decision variables, and then after clicking on solve, we found that the quantity of x1 should be 100 and the quantity of x2 should be 30, so that the total profit is $14,500. This is for Excel. Now, how to do it using Lingo after downloading it? Basically, it's much easier to do it in Lingo. And Lingo is a simplified uh, uh, programming language used for Optimization. So I'm going to do this example using Lingo, and you can see how easy it is to do it, right? So basically, this is my Lingo. How to do this? You have to start by your objective function. If it is a minimum function, you should say minimum is equal. If it is a maximum, as in our case, you should say max is equal. Whenever you write max or mean, the lingo will change the color of this max or minimum to be in a blue. So you should write max, M-A-X, or minimum, M-I-N, only. And then max is equal. Don't, do not forget to put the equal sign before writing the objective function. Now, my objective function here, it is in red. So it's 100x1 plus 150x2, and this is basically the profit. So it is very similar to MATLAB. It is 100 star x1, you cannot say 100 x1, you will see I'm, I'm going to do this and you can see the error, plus 150 times x2. And don't forget guys to put the semicolon. Unlike MATLAB, here the semicolon is obligatory, right? It is mandatory to put the semicolon, so do not forget to put it. And then after 
stating this maximum objective function or this minimum objective function, you should put under it all the constraints. So now the constraints are x1 is greater, or sorry, is less than or equal to 100 with the semicolon. Do not forget to put the semicolon. As simple as that. x2 is less than or equal to 120, as simple as that. And then the third constraint is x1 plus 2 times, do not forget to put the star, x2 is less than or equal to 160 with the semicolon. And that's it. So you should put the maximum objective function and you should put under it all your constraints and then you should click on solve. Solve is here under solver or also it is here with a sign here, right? So whenever you click on solve, you will have two windows. The first window is where you will have your objective function, your maximum objective function, which is 1400, 14,500. Uh, 14, Remember, it is the same on Excel. Also, you can see the objective function. Now, in the same window here, if you go down, if you scroll down, you can see the values of x1 and x2. x1 is 100 and x2 is 30, and that's it. Here in the Excel, we found the same values. It is 130, and that's it. So it's very easy to do it, much easier than Excel. It's very easy to do the linear optimization problems using Lingo. Now, if you remove one semicolon and then you click on solve, you will have an error, all right? So the semicolon is mandatory. And if you remove, let's say, the star from here and then click on solve, you will also have an error. It is a syntax error, basically. So you should put here a star. Now, if you put X1 in capital letter, and you will solve it, you'll see, guys, that you will have the same answer. And this means that Lingo is not a case-sensitive software. So you can use a small x1 or big x1. It is the same. What if I need to add some comments so that if I go back to this Lingo, I can understand what's going on? So basically, guys, I'm going to close all other windows and then go back to my window here and then add the comments. The comments basically is different than the, the, the comment used in MATLAB. Here, you don't have to use percentage, you should use the exclamation point, and then you can write whatever you want. So let's say this is my objective function. And you see, guys, that after this uh, exclamation point, you will have uh, your statement in green. And this means that this is a comment. However, if you don't put a semicolon the line after it will be also a comment, and this means that Lingo is not reading it. So that's why you should put a semicolon. It's also mandatory. And then let's say after this line here, I can say that these are my constraints. And of course, the semicolon. And then I can click on solve here. And you can see all your answers. So guys, this is the first video about how to solve optimization problems using Lingo. Now, it's very simple because the problem is simple and it's about linear optimization. Now, in the next videos, we will solve more complicated problems using both Excel and Lingo. And in this case, you will learn more terminology and more uh, uh, commands used in Lingo. Thank you very much.